Alright guys, hey Force here. So this is gonna be a quite, I guess, unprofessional and uh, spartanic video. It's gonna be a one take, uh, showing you all of Mac OS. So I'm gonna excuse any hiccups and uh, let's get right into it. This is a alpha version, so things are gonna change. A lot of things are buggy, uh, features are missing, etc. But you're gonna start off with a zip file, just extract it, extract it anywhere, and start the Mac Engine exe. Install the virus. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you will see your trusty OS um, menu and the to-do list. Just click standard OS, go into options for starters, look if this is right, if it is not, change it. This is so you can load your skins and songs. Uh, so if, if you do not have any songs and no skins, change it to the right one manually. Standard stuff here, FPS limiter, etc. Select resolution, if you want a custom resolution, go back to the CFG folder. Custom resolution CFG, open it, add a new line, add your resolution, save it, close it, bam, you're gonna have a new uh, resolution in there as a standard option. Um, also excuse like, for example, the graphical box here. This is kind of Windows' fault in terms of buffering because I don't have desktop composition on. Uh, things will be changed, it is an alpha after all. Going through standard stuff here, skin etc this is a important uh, option to highlight ignore beat bap, sample volume this makes it so the uh, the hit sounds are the same volume from map to map no change you do not have to fuck around with the hit sound slider volume um, just take that and it's all good to go if you want to become ruchi just put this at 50 percent or whatever you want it to you do not have to replace backgrounds for becoming ruchi if you really want it. Draw notes per second and note density if you want to. Um, resize a lot of things, change a lot of things. Uh, the only important thing here is slider break epilepsy. Be careful here. Don't 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 use this if you have epilepsy, trust me. Bad idea. Going to playing, there's no database, so you will have to load every single map again and again and again every time you start it. If it's long for you, press escape, boom. All the maps loaded up, up until the point will be loaded. Um, but things are gonna load quicker after loading it once because it's in the cache. This will only hold until the next restart. Database is on its way. This is a known bug. Well, actually, it's a rather missing feature. But let's get back into playing songs. And to play and find songs, you can search for the basic uh, values of a map. BPM, CS, etc. Portrait, whatever you want to. Smaller than, greater than, etc. Um, I just changed my my keyboard to German. That was a really bad idea. There we go. Um, standard searching in there. The important part is in the mods here. Overrides for anything. If you don't want the double decimals, hold Alt, and then you have the 0.1 steps. So you can find you need a lot more. If it's too loud or too, uh, too quiet the song, just hold Ctrl and Alt, arrow keys up and down for the volume. Um, in the mods screen on the left, you see the experimental mods. Uh, if you just hover there, you will find them immediately. If you start a song, you can hold Ctrl and Alt and drag around. And this is video scrubbing, so you can skip to a certain part of the song holding Ctrl and Alt and then clicking around or or dragging around. Left is the beginning, the more to the right, the more to the end. I mean, just look at the pie chart at the top right. You pretty much skip through the song. During the song you can also press F1. Boom, you have the mods. You can tinker around, fuck around with whatever you want. Important, there's a big difference between BPM override and speed multiplier. BPM override changes the BPM to a higher thing, but lets the approach rate and OD stay the same. So in this case, shit is getting quite hard to read. Boom. But if you want the standard double time kind of way, you use the speed multiplier at the bottom. This also scales the approach rate with it. Also, you can do whatever you want really, I mean, I guess. This is quite nauseating. Stop it. <laughs> no. Um, and that's pretty much it for the playing aspect. There's also another tinkering aspect if you really want to get into increases. By going Shift F1, you have the console, just uh, add a lot of commands, you can look around, you can tinker around, 
ask around if you do not know what certain things do. But for example, you can rotate the playfield by a few degrees, or by more degrees, or by no degrees, uh, by a lot of degrees. You can also change a few mod intricacies if you want to. Um, really, just a lot of things to change around if you want to you know, cater and customize your experience. But that's pretty much it for Mac OS. A lot of things are missing, databases, um, score, replays, etc. Happy practicing and bug hunting because we're gonna need your help. And this has been Force and goodbye.